Awards season rolls on with some possible hints about Oscar nominees. Our friend, extra correspondent Rachel Lindsay from Dallas, joining us this morning. Hey, Rachel, are you ready to ready to cheer on your Dallas Cowboys? Oh, you already know I am. I've got the scene set. I'll be tuning in tonight. My <laughs> my fingers are crossed. I know. I just, gosh, you know, the Tom Brady has never lost to the Cowboys, and I think I think it's time we. We show them who's boss, huh? <laughs> exactly. It is time. This is our year. Okay. So <laughs> Critics' Choice Awards last night, and this kind of usually gives us some hints about, like, you know, the the Academy Award nominees. Um, but boy, the big winner last night, this movie, uh, Everything Everywhere All at Once, 14 nominations. Yes, everyone was talking about this movie last year, so we knew that during award season, that the hype was going to be there, and it's it's being proven really pretty much between the Golden Globes and now the Critics' Choice Awards. Everything Everywhere All at Once was named Best Picture, Best Director, and Best Original Screenplay um, for the Daniels. That's what they call the two men. And then also got Best Editing and Best Supporting Actor for Kihi Kwan, which we know that he had the very emotional, beautiful speech also at the Golden Globes. Now he also won at the Critics' Choice Awards. As you stated, it, it went into this ceremony with 14 nominations. Uh, Michelle Yeoh is also a part of that cast. She's been nominated as well, and her performance has uh, gotten rave reviews. So this is at the top of everyone's list. Now, on the TV side, Abbott Elementary came in with six nominations. Mm. It was named okay. for Best Comedy Series. Better Call Saul had a big night with Bob Odenkirk also winning as well. Brendan Fraser had a big night. Camp. Kate Blanchett as well, Angela Bassett wow. again, took the supporting actress prize for um, Black Panther. So it was it was a big night, and um, the stars are out yeah. once again. Uh, what, about, season. what about this new film starring uh, J Lo and uh, what is it? Josh Duhamel is it, it, it's yes. a movie that's going to be uh, on Amazon Prime. But you guys are getting a first look at. Uh, What's it called? Shotgun Wedding? Is that it? That's right. Okay. That's right. Shotgun Wedding, which I find this very interesting because first we had Marry Me from J Lo. Right. Now we have Shotgun Wedding. And this is all in the middle of her rediscovering her love with Ben Affleck, which we've all obviously followed. And she actually spoke to that in the interview that we have with her. Um, sat down with her and Josh Jamel to talk about this new rom-com where a dream destination wedding turns into a nightmare with pirates and grenades and a lot of gunfire. So it sounds like it's a Ooh. wild rom-com, <laughs> but also very fun. Jennifer Coolidge is a part of it as well, which oh, you know fun. we can't get enough of her. Yeah. She discusses the amazing cast and talks about how sexy it is at the same time. Ooh. So Speaking about sexy, movie. did I just see that you wrote a novel? Oh, yes. Right there. <laughs> really? <laughs> Real love is what it's called. Yeah. I, I wanted to explore the other side if I had said no to this whole bachelor world, which completely changed oh. my life. So it tells that story in a fictional way. In a fictional How fun. Was it hard to write? I mean, you, girl, you're busy. Yes. yes. And I had help. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> and writing it. So shout out to Alexa Martin, who I collaborated with to write this book. Oh, good, good. Can't wait to read it. Well, you can see Extra Weeknights at 6.30 here on Fox 4. What would have happened if she would have said no? Hmm. <laughs> see you, Rachel. Bye, Lauren.